Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. You see people, cars, buildings. But what you don't see is the constant flow of information, invisible waves carrying conversations, emails, videos. This is the world of networks, a hidden dimension where data travels at lightning speed. Every time you make a call, send a text, or browse the web, your device sends signals through this invisible network. These signals carry your data, broken down into small packets of information. Each packet is like a digital envelope labeled with its destination. Just like a busy intersection, network devices direct these packets to their intended recipients. But unlike the physical world, these digital pathways can be intercepted. With the right tools and knowledge, someone could be listening to your conversations, reading your emails, and stealing your data. This is the reality of our digital age, where convenience and connectivity come with inherent risks. Understanding these risks is the first step towards protecting yourself in the vast and often dangerous world of the Internet. In the right hands, a tool like Wireshark can be used for good to troubleshoot network problems, analyze traffic, and improve security. But in the wrong hands, it can be misused to spy on unsuspecting individuals. It's like a high-powered microscope capable of revealing the intricate details of network communication. Wireshark captures these packets like a fisherman casting a net into a river of data. Once captured, these packets can be analyzed to reveal their contents. Imagine being able to read every letter sent in the mail, every word spoken on the phone, every picture shared online. That's the power of Wireshark. But with great power comes great responsibility. Using Wireshark to eavesdrop on private conversations or steal personal information is illegal and unethical. It violates privacy and can have serious consequences. Before we delve into the technical details, it's crucial to understand the ethical implications of using such a powerful tool. This knowledge is essential to ensure that your actions remain within the bounds of the law and respect the privacy of others. Before you can begin capturing and analyzing network traffic, you need to install and configure Wireshark. This process is relatively straightforward but it does require some basic technical knowledge. Don't worry, we'll walk you through each step. First, you need to download Wireshark from the official website. Be sure to choose the version compatible with your operating system, whether it's Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Once the download is complete, run the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. During the installation process, you will be asked to install WinPCAP, a software library that allows Wireshark to capture network packets on Windows. Make sure to install this component, as it is essential for Wireshark's functionality. Once Wireshark is installed, you need to select the network interface you want to capture traffic from. This is the physical or virtual connection that your computer uses to access the network. You can find a list of available interfaces in the Capture Interfaces dialog box. With the interface selected, you are now ready to start capturing network traffic. Click on the Start button in the main toolbar, and Wireshark will begin capturing all packets flowing through the chosen interface. Now that you have Wireshark up and running, let's focus on capturing and analyzing VoIP traffic. VoIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, is the technology that allows you to make phone calls over the internet. Services like Skype, WhatsApp, and Zoom all use VoIP to transmit voice data. VoIP calls, like all internet traffic, are broken down into packets and sent over the network. These packets contain the audio data of your conversation, along with other information like the caller's and receiver's IP addresses. By capturing these packets, we can potentially listen to the conversation. To isolate VoIP traffic, we can use Wireshark's filtering capabilities. By entering specific filters, we can instruct Wireshark to only display packets related to VoIP protocols, such as SIP, RTP, and SRTP. This helps us to narrow down our search and focus on the relevant data. Once we have captured the VoIP packets, we can analyze their contents. Wireshark allows us to view the raw data of each packet, as well as its decoded form. This means we can potentially extract the audio data from the packets and play it back, effectively listening to the conversation. 
The ability to capture and analyze network traffic, especially VoIP calls, raises serious ethical considerations. While Wireshark can be a valuable tool for network administrators and security professionals, it's crucial to use this power responsibly and ethically. Eavesdropping on someone's private conversations without their consent is a clear violation of privacy. It's like listening to someone's phone call through a hidden microphone. It's unethical, intrusive, and often illegal. In many jurisdictions, intercepting and listening to private communications without authorization is a criminal offense. This applies even if you're not using the intercepted information for malicious purposes. The mere act of eavesdropping can land you in legal trouble. Furthermore, even if you're only analyzing network traffic for educational purposes, it's essential to respect the privacy of others. Avoid capturing or analyzing traffic from networks you don't have permission to access. Always prioritize ethical considerations and respect the boundaries of privacy. Section 6. A Hacker's Toolkit – Exploiting Network Weaknesses Wireshark can be used by hackers to exploit network vulnerabilities and access sensitive information. Hackers use various techniques to compromise networks and steal data. Packet sniffing captures network traffic to find sensitive information. This is effective on unsecured networks. Session hijacking takes over communication sessions. Hackers can impersonate users by capturing authentication packets. Man-in-the-middle attacks intercept and relay messages. Hackers can eavesdrop and modify data. These are examples of exploiting network vulnerabilities. Be aware and protect your personal information. Section 7. Guarding your digital fortress. Practical security tips. Protecting yourself from network attacks requires a multi-layered approach. Implement strong security measures and adopt safe browsing habits. Use a virtual private network or VPN to secure your network traffic. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it harder for hackers to intercept. Strong passwords are essential for online security. Use a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Avoid using the same password for multiple accounts. Be cautious about the websites you visit and the links you click. Avoid clicking on suspicious links in emails or messages. Keep your software up to date. Updates often include security patches for known vulnerabilities. Updated software prevents hackers from exploiting weaknesses. Section 8. Knowledge is power. Sharing for a safer digital world. The internet has become an integral part of our lives, connecting us in ways we never thought possible. But with this increased connectivity comes increased responsibility. It's crucial that we all do our part to create a safer and more secure online environment. Sharing knowledge about cybersecurity is essential for empowering individuals and communities to protect themselves from online threats. By educating others about the risks of hacking, eavesdropping, and data breaches, we can help create a more resilient digital world. Encourage your friends, family, and colleagues to adopt strong passwords, use a VPN, and be cautious about suspicious links. Share articles and resources about cybersecurity best practices. Together, we can make a difference. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding the tools and techniques used by hackers, we can better protect ourselves and our loved ones from their malicious activities. Section 9. The Future of Privacy in a Connected World As technology continues to advance at an unprecedented pace, the line between the physical and digital worlds becomes increasingly blurred. This interconnectedness brings countless benefits but also poses significant challenges to our privacy. The rise of the Internet of Things, or IoT, where everyday objects are connected to the Internet, creates new avenues for data collection and potential surveillance. From smart speakers to fitness trackers, these devices collect vast amounts of personal information, raising concerns about how this data is stored, shared, and protected. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are also transforming the cybersecurity landscape. While these technologies offer promising solutions for detecting and preventing cyber attacks, they can also be used by malicious actors to develop more sophisticated and evasive malware. The future of privacy in a connected world depends on our collective efforts to develop and implement robust security measures, 
promote ethical data practices, and raise awareness about the importance of online safety. By working together, we can harness the power of technology while safeguarding our fundamental right to privacy.